Hello everyone and welcome back to Fall of Porcupine. We are heading back for our second shift in St. Ursula's after having a lovely pineapple wrap. Let's do this. Okie dokie. So let's go up to the third floor. Man! Are you serious? You piece of trash! Hello? Who's that? Where is it coming from? The elevator maybe? You should check. I think the voice is coming from here. Hello? Is there someone in there? No, the hospital just installed one of those new talking elevators. Sarcasm, I see. Whoa! The damn door's stuck! Why does this thing keep happening? Me to help him? Yeah, what can we do? We should get the janitor. He can help open the doors. Gregor, the old fart. He's the reason I'm stuck in here in the first place. If he touches the elevator, I'll probably, <laughs> he'll probably blow up. <laughs> I'm gonna wring his neck. Do you want to get out of there or not? Yeah, I guess. I've got... <laughs> I just come from surgery on the second floor. That's where I saw the old bodger skulking around. Alright. Finley, you go to the surgery and find Gregor. I'll go back to our ward and stay on call in case anyone needs anything. Good plan, thanks. Alright, let's go. Okay, I get it. Gregor's our only hope. But that doesn't mean I have to like it. But I guess I can get, can't get the door open with gauze, badges and IV fluids. And I'm starving. Please don't eat the, my, any medical supplies. Are you crazy? That stuff tastes awful. You mean you've tried it? Look, night shift's gonna be really long, okay? Just hang in there, I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna look for Gregor. Like I said, I just saw him in surgery. Alright, I'll fetch him and be right back, okay? Hurry up, the walls are closing in on me. That is literally one of my worst fears, to be trapped in the elevator. Like, my asthma combined with claustrophobia, I just can't do it. Like, I, I hope that never happens to me. I don't think I'll survive that. Genuinely, I don't think I would. Oh my gosh, dude. Honestly. Is that him there? Gregor? There you are! What's up with the blasted light? I need your help! Yeah, yeah, everyone needs old Gregor's help. Won't even <laughs> get me... <laughs> give me the time of day when everything's running smoothly. But one flickering light or squeaky door and Gregor's... This help? That! Mr. Glendower, the elevator's stuck. Take it easy, kid. Can't you see I'm busy here? But there's someone stuck in the elevator! Give me a hand here, kid. There's a breaker panel at the end of the hall. Head over there and switch the breaker on when I give you the signal, okay? But one thing at a time. After that, will you help me with the elevator? I'm the janitor, and I'm the janitor ain't I? Okay. Okay, fine. At the end of the hall, he says, right? Go, 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 go! It is this way. Oh yeah, here it is. Okay, this is probably the only breaker panel here. Here goes nothing! Okay, ready? Yes! Alright. Wait a minute. Put this in there, fill it around here. That should do it. Okay, now! Ah! Oh no. Everything okay? I'll just take a quick look. Oh my gosh. He electrocuted himself, didn't he? Oh, we electrocuted him. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so chaotic. Oh, who are you? Mr. Glendo, are you alright? <coughs> yeah, I'll live. <laughs> take more than a little electric shock to stop me. Well, that's a relief. Maybe you should lie down for a moment all the same. Baloney, you want to make an omelette? You <laughs> gotta break a few eggs. Besides, look, the lights are working again. I've still got it. Will you help me now? Help? 
Oh, your elevator thing. Give me a moment, I'll just need a quick break, then we'll take a look. Oh, that man has smoke coming out of his ears. <laughs> yeah. Finally! Oh, I'll have to sign the lease of this thing. Oh, you again. I should have known. Carl, it's you! I've been wondering where you were all day. I knew that voice sounded familiar. Huh? What? I thought you knew it was me. Don't you recognize the angelic voice of your favorite colleague? I'll try to burn it into my brain for future use. Anyway, I'm glad you're out there at Elevator now. Oh yeah, right. Freedom! Ah, that sweet, sweet scent. I thought I was gonna die in there. Thank you, Finley. You really are a good buddy. I owe you one. Gregor, you old bungler. <laughs> it's your fault I got stuck in there. I know it's my fault. <laughs> You're out again. You're welcome. I'm leaving now. <laughs> Dude. Grr. One of these days. Are you alright? What? Oh, right. Yeah, all good. I'm just short on time. I had loads to do today. Could have done without the involuntary lunch break. It stares only from now on for me. Should help me keep fit at least. Uh, uh yeah, you can. Uh, you could clone me, or take a second job as a nurse, or buy a new elevator. All good options. Right. All right, enough chit chat. I gotta go. I need to get a snack somewhere before my next stop. I need to get back up to the ward. You know Dr. Croc by now. The steam's probably coming out of your ears already. <laughs> Thanks again for your help, buddy. If you're up for it later, I'll buy you a drink at Gilbert's. Think about it. Laters. Bye, Carl. But. What about the boxes? I guess I'll sort it out. I really should get back to the ward now. Alright, let's go. Taking the stairs. Here I am, did everything go okay? Yeah, how about you? It took quite a while. Who was in the elevator? Carl! Haha, <laughs> typical. Have you seen Dr. Croc? Yeah, she's in the break room. She tends to retreat there, even there when evening starts closing in. I don't think she's really taking a break though, which kind of defeats the purpose of the room. I'll let her know I'm clocking off, then I can finally relax for the evening. You do that, I'm gonna do some sports. You can join me if you want, it'll be fun. That's not a bad idea, I'll think about it. Alright, break room. Is it this break is it downstairs break room? No, oh, the cafeteria is downstairs. Oh yeah, she's in the break room, okay. Oh, it's the break room here. Oh wow, it's messy in here. Bloody hell. Oh, hello. Finley, I have a question. Do you have some other job here that I don't know about, or two even? What do you mean? Well, you seem to have a lot on your mind whenever you're here. Otherwise, you would presumably be doing your job, like everyone else here does. Your average performance isn't enough to make up for your constant absences. Don't take this personally. I don't enjoy pointing these things out, I do it because it's my job. Don't assume that the rest of the team can make up for every shortcoming. Just as you rely on others, they must also be able to rely on you. Please think about what I've said. But Carl was... I know. And I also know you were helping him. Nevertheless, I need to make sure you're clear on this. Thank you for work, your work today. Tomorrow is your first night shift, as I'm sure you know. That will give you another chance to prove yourself. Um, okay. So I can't even help anyone now? I do my job, she complains about it. I help people, she complains about it. 
whatever, woman. <laughs> whatever. Alright, so we're gonna clock off now, right? So let's go home or join Mia for sports or go to Gilbert's pub. Let's see what we're doing. There you are! How's it looking? Are you gonna come down to the sports court with me? I wanna get some exercise tonight. Yeah, sure, why not? Alright, come on then. Race to the sports court. If you insist. Great. On your marks. Get set. Oh no. Is <laughs> Cock the croc. She looks angry. What? Go! <laughs> that was so unfair. Oh, Philly's so slow. He's just a little pigeon. He can't run very fast. It's really dark. There's no street lamps or anything either. Bloody hell. This is scary. Oh, okay. I'm going down, I guess. This way? Where am I going? I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. There? No. Hmm. Oh, okay. Running, running, and running, running. Ah, in here. Wow, what's happening here? Hmm, what do you think? After a long day, I need to work off a bit of energy. The university clinic where I used to work had its own sports field. I discovered this from a gen hidden gem last week. I hereby present to you... Nice! <laughs> so what do you want to join in? So you want me to join in, sorry. That's the plan. Today we're playing basketball. You know how to shoot hoops, right? I was always good at school. I got teased a lot for being one of the youngest. But I always got the baskets. Alright then. Looks like I chose the right guy to play against. Let's see who will win. Who wins? Ready? Yes. Just what I wanted to hear. Here we go! How do I play? Do I play or...? Oh! Throw for the hoop! Hold E to charge your throw, release E to throw. Okay, three points. Okay! Oh no! Oh nice! Nice. I'm beating by two points. Oh, one point. That was cool. Very loud, but cool. 
That was fun, actually. Oh, you really showed me. I didn't know you were so good. Oh, I think you just caught me on a good day. The last time I played basketball was at school. Same. When I start at Team in Porcupine, you have to join me. Huh? Okay. So, Finley, how do you like it here? Not just work, in general. Porcupine. It's nice here. I mean, I kind of haven't had much time to get to know the town yet. I haven't even packed, unpacked all my boxes yet. And then I was out of action for a while. It feels a bit like when I first started university. A little lonely. Really? But you're already fitting in so well. How do you mean? Well, somehow you get along with everyone here. And it feels like I don't know anyone yet. I feel a bit lonely. Every time I move to town, it gets a little harder somehow. I had a few friends at school. Even at university, I struggled to meet people. And in Porcupine, I really only know the people from the hospital. Do you really think I'm fitting in well? Totally! Funny, I feel the same way as you, actually. Really? That's a surprise. I haven't had much time, had much free time so far. And when I do, I never have the energy to do anything. Boy, can I relate to that? Wow. It's tough to get to know anyone. But I've made up my mind not to get bogged down in work. I want to make sure I always have some energy for trying new things. Meeting new people. Maybe even making some friends. Same. I'm sure we'll both find friends here. And whenever we... Whenever you try something new, you can always let me know. I will. But that's enough to, for today, I think. I'm starving. I need to make something to eat. Besides, some of us have early shift tomorrow. It's your first night shift, right? Yeah, I hope it goes alright. I'm sure it will. I believe in you. Oh, that's nice. But I've got to run now. See you tomorrow night. Oh, that was really cool. Man, I used to play basketball in school as well. I haven't played basketball since, like, secondary school. Wow. Ah, we got an achievement. Nice. Alright, so where are we now? Are we home? Or... I think we might be home. Uh, yes, we are. I can't wait to sleep in tomorrow. Good night, world. Hold on. Uh, I could go to Gilbert's, I guess, right? Let's go to Gilbert's. Might as well. Oh, I can't. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> My apartment's a mess. Actually, it's not that bad, is it? Eh... I mean, it's only going to get messy again anyways. And then I'll just have to tidy up again. Maybe I should just maintain a consistent level of chaos at all times. Hmm. I should put my laundry away at least. Otherwise I'll end up lying around all week. I hope my lazy future self appreciates this. Okay, there we go, nice. Put some air in, yeah. There we go. Do I want that or something? <laughs> feel, free, feel free to help out a little. After all, you live here too. That reminds me actually, you're behind on rent too. <laughs> oh, there's laundries everywhere, dude. Oh, who's that? Pino! Hey! Peanut, is that you? Bingo! What's up? How's stuff? What's the gus? You still in bed after the accident? Yeah, no. I'm back on my feet now. I even played basketball with a colleague yesterday. You played basketball? I wish I'd seen that. Anyway, are you free right now 
by any chance. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm still at home. I'm on my way. F I'm on my first night shift tomorrow. Tonight, I mean. Ooh, exciting. Are you nervous? Nope, not yet. I'm sure that'll change later. <laughs> Sounds like a little distraction, but do you good. You think you could swing by my store? I could use your help. Hmm. I wanted to check out the high street anyway. Sure, I'll stop by. Perfecto, thanks so much. See you soon! So that's Pina from the demo, that's one of Finley's like best friends in the town. Uh, so let's go see her. We've cleaned up everything else. Let's go. Can we actually do anything else in our phone? Like, what's the. I want to see what this stuff is. What's this stuff? Oh, it's just messenger. Oh, there are actually messages in here. Oh, cool. Okay. What's this one? Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So we have to probably check this um, every so often, I guess. Okie dokie. Let's go. Oh, really? Is it closed? You again. We're doing work on the town fountain today. I want to take the high street today anyway. Alright, I guess we're good then. Yeah, alright, never mind then. Flower shop, where's the flower shop? Who's that up there? <laughs> uh, that's not it, I don't think. There she is! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Bimbo! <laughs> Are you okay? Are you hurt? Am I dead? <laughs> You're the unluck unluckiest person I know, you know that? I wanted to come and help! I know, thanks. And you really, <laughs> really have to. What do you mean? I need an idea for my facade. Looks like you're sorting that out for me. I'm just glad I brought all the plants my face <laughs> first. Oh, that looks suits you. You should wear it more often. You think? Absolutely. It adds that much needed touch of colour to your face. What if it dries on me? Do you want to come in and wash up? I bet I had, right? Don't want to stain the beds on the ward later. Let's get to it then. <laughs> That's my super duper fast dry paint you're wearing there. Ah, that's more like it. You really are a walking disaster, aren't you? First, a box you hits you in the head, now a bucket of paint. Maybe it really is just bad luck. You know what I realised? You know what I just realised? I haven't even been inside your store before. Nice place you have here, I'm impressed. Thank you, I've put a lot of work into it. How's business going? How do you think? I love my plants, and so does everyone else. Are you still looking for an assistant? If you're interested in the position, I'll be expecting a formal application, young man. Hey, it was worth a shot. How's your head? I'm starting to get used to the bumps. We'll buy you a helmet with a capital F on it. <laughs> that way everyone can see you coming. I ruin my hair? Never. Have you got time for a day out tomorrow? You know, I don't actually want the helmet, right? No, I want to go <laughs> to the Glow Milk Woods. Want to come with me? Finley, can you hear me? Hello? What? I think I still have paint in my ears. Some careless person dropped a bucket on my head. I'm really sorry. It's alright. Yeah, I'm in. Woodland air is good for the health. Oh, okay. Great. Okay, time for me to head off to my night shift. See you tomorrow then. We'll just meet up at my store again, okay? And watch your head, Finley. <laughs> Cool. She's got a nice shop here. All these plants. 
Wow, that's a lot of plants. Yep, raised them all myself. Is that my plant from this shelf too? Yeah, I picked out a really pretty one for you. Aw, oh, thanks. But I think they're all pretty. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that! <laughs> the paint splatter, that's hilarious. Okay, so it's this way? How do we get to St. Ursula's if the town centre is closed? I don't even know. Can we go this way? I assume so. Where is that? It's like a shop or something. Am I going the wrong way? I'm so confused right now. Because the town centre was closed, right? I don't think I'm going the right way, to be honest. Whoa. Apartment buildings. I think I'm going the wrong way. Definitely going the wrong way. <laughs> um, okay. What is that? School. True. Well, not the time in school exactly. More like time generally. Please be so much of it. Yep, exactly. It's exactly how I feel as well. Oh, it's the basketball court. Okay, cool. So we are close. Okay, let's go up the winding road. Okay. And then this way. And this way. It's crazy, like the older you get, the less time you have. You know, the, the days become shorter, you don't have enough, as much energy as you used to have in school, in college, in university. You have a job, and you know, time is so much more precious when you get older. I have no idea how people with children <laughs> work and have time for themselves and have time for their kids and oh boy, it's actually crazy. And that's two parents. If one parent has children, I have no idea how they do it. You know, especially if you're working a full-time job, especially now with things being so expensive as well. Okay, I think we're going to leave it here for now. Oh man, this, <laughs> this game is very deep. I didn't expect it to be so deep, to be honest with you. But um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it still. And I think I'm starting to get used to talking for so long as well. Um, so yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you Critical Rabbit for giving me a key to this game. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.